It is pressure cooker time in the Champions League. Four teams are left and the stage is set for an enthralling semi-final. Who will make it through to the showpiece event? It's Borussia Dortmund. They take on Chelsea next on EA TV Live. One of the great, most atmospheric venues anywhere in the football world. We're at the home of Borussia Dortmund. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And we've got Champions League semi-final first leg action coming right up for you. It is Borussia Dortmund taking on Chelsea. Well, this is what the Champions League is all about. Some of the world's best players, two excellent teams and a great stadium. Let's hope we're not disappointed. is the lineup for Dortmund. Julian Brandt plays alongside Jude Bellingham in the centre of midfield and they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. the lineup for Chelsea. Kepa is the goalkeeper. Kalidou Koulibaly plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Mateo Kovacic plays alongside Denis Zakaria in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg. Ziyech, Havertz, Ziyech, and taken cleanly by the goalkeeper. Adeyemi. They couldn't maintain possession. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. And fired against the crossbar. Well, he took care of it defensively. Well, what a magnificent save that was. It really was top-class goalkeeping. Kukureya. And return to Mount. Decent cross, but nobody in the vicinity. And a goal kick given. it back and it's a quality pass pressing high and they have the ball again Song. 
Really good high press. Havertz. Mateo Kovacic. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Takes the shot. Determined defending. And they know they need to stop him. The cross is on. is how to put in a challenge he's been a bit unlucky to concede the corner and delivered by Rafael Guerrero and good pressure high up the pitch Brandt Pass easy on the eye. And a goal! The opening statement of this semi final. How important could that prove to be? Well, let's take another look. And I'm not sure what the people were thinking there. Just look at his position. He made it far too easy for him to score. Are back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. The Chelsea move still flowing. Advantage to them. Mount. Here's Mount. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. And after the cross, a tremendous block. Oh, they've done it! A goal for Chelsea, who've got themselves on level terms. Well, let's look at this again. The cross just couldn't be any better, could it? whipped into that danger area but should the keeper be beaten at his near post I don't think so he really needs to do better in those situations so back underway following the equaliser Dortmund have been awarded the free kick by the referee. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Rhys James. Free kick to Chelsea. Well, no card, but the referee making it clear next time there will be one shown. A deft clearance. Rioson. Guerrero. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Mount on the ball Zakaria this looks threatening and doing all he can to grab his second of the game well he's been a real live wire today a constant threat to this back line <laughs> keen to take it short here 
And I've all the cross work out for them. Not messing around with that clearance. Kovacic. Excellent defending. Can they hit on the break? They need to get bodies back. Can't miss, surely. And a fine stop. Well, nothing comes of it. Into the advanced position. And he might be through here. Oh, he saved it well. That's going to be all for the first half here in the Ruhr region. Well, Kai Havertz, very difficult to contain in the first half. How would you sum up his performance? Well, he certainly got his team back into this game with that goal because up to that point, they hadn't played particularly well. I think he's had a decent first half, but he'll be looking to build on his goal in the second 45. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. And Chelsea get the decision from the referee. Well, now he's walking on eggshells, you might say. Next time it'll be yellow. Crosses on. Is it going to be an opportunity? Terrific piece of anticipation. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Karim Adeyemi. Brandt. Oh, great defending. Ziesch. It's with Cody Bali. Nicely timed tackle. Could be doing a fine job of protecting the ball. Moving the ball forward with purpose. A fine block. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. And they're making a change. for the short corner he takes aim and there is the goal he's found the net joy unconfined well, let's take another look because it's a well worked short corner that just changes the angle of the cross but there's still plenty to do from here he hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Oh, and it will be interesting to see how Borussia Dortmund respond to that setback. Good-looking pass. have 30 minutes to go slipshod passing Uzchan 
Riosson. Zali Özcan with it. Possession lost. Decent position for Dortmund to be in. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Joao Felix. James. And a goal! It's a finish of real class. No shortage of acrobatics on display here. He's judged it to perfection. Incredible header. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Well, that's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3-1 it is. Özcan, Brandt with it, useful looking ball, misfiring completely. Yeah, he's gone for power, but the contact was never right, it's a poor effort really. with Hakim Ziyech and he read it well defensively <laughs> Yusufa Mukoko <laughs> and Bellingham <laughs> and Bellingham this is looking threatening but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end Enzo Fernandez. Now can they counter clinically? And he read it well. Ten minutes to go. Zakaria. Now, who can he play it to? Fernandez. Now potential danger. Well, full marks for trying, but very deftly cut out. Jude Bellingham. Zali Özcan with it. He's given it away. Brandt. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Ziyech. James. Chelsea unable to hold on to the ball. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Özcan Brandt with it Doniel Malin and that is that the final whistle it's advantage Chelsea going into the return leg of this tie yeah they controlled so much of the game they got good service into the front players they used the wide area as well and their midfield players made some dynamic forward runs they're certainly giving themselves a great chance of reaching the final now and in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.